Yo, 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 we are back into my little car. We are back with another pointless, uh, pointless car vlog. We are in the vlog wagon or whatever you want to call this car. Um, <laughs> and it's another just random topic that just, I've just stopped somewhere and it just came to my head and I just kind of wanted to really quickly like talk about it and hopefully if it's of some use to you. If it's not, click away. I'm not bothered. Uh, if you want to listen, go ahead and listen. So let's get on with this little chat. So I was just kind of like reading, scrolling through Twitter and things and uh, I was just seeing that obviously a lot of people are picking up their like GCSE results like re uh, like around this time and it just it just made, got me thinking like everyone that's on Twitter that are collecting their GCSE results are really like panicking and they're really worrying and they're like um, oh, what happens if I don't get the results that I need or I want? Uh, it's like the end of the world. Which let me get this. Uh, let me let me tell you this straight. GCSE results, if they're poor, they're not the end of the world. Now, obviously, GCSE results are important. There's not going to be a negative that comes from getting good results. Like there's nothing. There's nothing bad that comes out of getting good results. It's only going to be positive. But on the contrary. Getting bad results is not the end of the world. It's not. It, th there is more to life, people, than just your freaking GCSE results. So obviously, people are going to be stressing because they're going to be worrying about if they they because they're thinking that oh, if I don't get A's and B's, I'm not going to get into sixth form or college, or I'm not going to get a good job or what. what the next platform that they need, the, ne the next uh, kind of chapter that they need to move on to uh, in in their life. But at the end of the day, like all the GCSE, like it, in, unless you're wanting to do the uni route then that's really where gcse results kind of come into play the most so for me because i'm at university now that was the goal was to get at least half decent gcse results so then i could go from gcse into a level and then a level into university whereas now my gcse results i've never had to use them i've never had to use them all that my gcse results did was got me from school to sixth form or college whatever you want to call it um so looking back at it now my gcse results have little to no relevance at the minute but yeah i can't see how they're gonna come back into play like at any point soon like i think they're not they like put look at it this way if i went to apply for a job like bear in mind if i finish when i finish university i'll have a degree so bear in mind if i go for a job and they look at my kind of like cv and they're like right mike you've got a degree you've got a <laughs> you've got a good degree but the thing we need to look at, we need to look at them GCSE results. Because if you've got a C or lower in science, nah, fucking you ain't having this job. So that make, that's my point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is, it may seem, if you're doing GCSEs now, it may seem like it's really important. But my personal opinion is, yes, you need to get good results. Obviously, I, I think that goes without saying. You can't just be like going to them and thinking, nah, they don't matter at all. Screw them. Let's just do nothing. Let's not revise or do anything. But I think people overthink them or over panic or over worry or get themselves worked up over them when they are personally, I don't think, they're not the end of the world if you don't get a straight A's. I just think that the main issue with the pressure of GCSEs is it comes from everybody else. It doesn't come from you within, but you put pressure on yourself because people put pressure on you if that makes sense so basically you get teachers telling you that they're really important they are really important if you don't get c's or above in these tests you're gonna like basically fail uh, in life but that's not necessarily the case um and then obviously you get pressure from parents because parents obviously want you to do well but they also make it seem like it's the end of the world if you don't get the higher grades but yeah i know many people like i don't know off the top of my head but uh like you hear about celebrities but other people that drop out of school and they they do well for themselves and some of them didn't even do their GCSEs or whatever the equivalent was back in in their day like you've got to look at it in the sense of yes i need to try my hardest because if you if, the thing is if you're not going to try then i'd have like zero sympathy for you anyway if you were like oh but uh, I did really badly, but but uh, but it doesn't matter because they're not important. But at the end of the day, you've got to try. Like you've got to try. Like I'll I'll admit that I like really tried. Like in my GCSEs, and I came out with like probably a few A's, and then pretty much 
all other Bs and maybe uh, the odd C and like things like freaking RE, like religion, which I was like, nope, I ain't learning about religion uh, because I was probably a bit stupid back then. But yeah, I, I did quite well, but that's because I put, put the work in. So if you are going to put the work in and... Uh, sorry, no, if you aren't going to put the work in and then you come out with grades that you're unhappy with, then I don't have any sympathy simply because you can't go into them with that attitude. Like, it's, that's like a poor attitude to go into it with. Like, if th these are the type of people that I kind of like have a lot of respect for, if you go into it, even if it's not your favorite subject, so a lot of people they struggle with maths, like, whereas me. I'm I'm all right at maths. I'm not saying I'm like, I'm the best mathematician there ever was, but I think I'm decent at maths. Uh, and some th some of the like processes in maths come to me so quickly, and I have close friends that uh, when I do little things like day to day, they're like, "How did you work the house so quickly?" And that must just be uh, how my brain works, how I'm joined up in my head. I don't know why, but how my what the bloody hell my brain is doing in this school of mine. Um, but yeah, so naturally maths comes. Uh, math, math comes naturally easy to me, but for some other people, um, it doesn't come so easy. So where was I going with this? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, I was basically saying that even if you've got a subject that you bloody hate, you can't do it to save your bloody life, but you put in hour after hour, week after week of revision, and you come out with a grade that's I don't know a D or an E. Like you know in your head though, even though that grade may not be what other people consider to be a good grade or a high grade at least you've put in like every inch of commitment and revision into that grade so at least that grade you know in the back of your mind you've tried more than your hardest in it you've tried you've thrown your absolute all at it and you've come out with an e whereas if someone didn't try and they got an e then i'd have no sympathy for them because it's kind of like you just can't be asked it's kind of like you just can't be asked. If, if i had friends in school that got that got A's and didn't even revise for them. So, yes, you might say, oh, I wish I was like that person. But I don't think you understand the value of, like, hard work or, or earning earning that grade because those friends that got them A's, they were like, oh, they, they had the mindset of, oh, I don't need to revise for tests because, look, I just got an A with it. But then when they, when they jump up to A level, they had the same mentality and they were coming out with C's and D's because they were, like, they, they were still in that mindset of, Oh, I don't need to revise. I'll, 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 I'll pass it. No worries. But you kind of can't. You can't just rely on on your own memory. You have to keep grinding and just keep um, keep working on on building uh, knowledge. Right. I'm after, gonna have to quickly end this because I was literally recording then, and my iPod is obviously on this mount, um, and I'm obviously not moving. I'm just sat with the freaking sun directly on me, and it overheated my iPod. So I'm going to end this quickly. As a quick roundup, um, all I was trying to say basically was don't over, don't over worry, if that's a word, about uh, what results you pick up, if you're obviously picking them up. or Because at the end of the day, there is more to life than GCSE results. You're going to look back at the GCSE results in years to come, like I already have like six or so years later, and I've realised, right, they're not actually that important. All they all they were for me was getting me from uh, high school, like year 11, up to the next step, which was college or sixth form. Um, and other than that, I haven't really used them. Literally haven't used them. Um, so let me know in the comment section below, because I know the kind of age that people are that watch my videos. They're kind of like early teen up to like my age, just like 20 odd. Um so let me know if you've already done them and what your kind of um, experiences were with them and how, because there might be other people that still use them today and they're like 25, but I may just be an anomaly, but I feel like the majority of people, um, they're in my, they should be in my uh, trail of thought and, re and, and should be agreeing that you don't really use them because I don't know many people my age that still use their GCSE results for anything. But yeah, also, if you uh, are the on, on the other end and you've not done them yet and you're prior to doing them, I want to know what your thoughts are on GCSE results uh, or GCSE tests altogether. Um, <clears throat> oh, and as well, it doesn't matter if you're American or not or English or wherever, uh, from England or wherever, because 
whatever your equivalent uh, tests are, because I don't, I, uh, GCSEs are just like UK, aren't they? Um, so let me know what your experiences are with tests. Let me know if you overthink no more, underthink no more. Just, just, just throw something in the comment section below. I'm not. I, I'll, I'll read it all. But um, yeah, other than that, I want to thank you ever so much for watching. I shall end this video before my freaking iPod overheats again, uh, and my scalp also overheats because I'm dripping with bloody pissing sweat. Um, take care. I'll see you again another in another car vlog. Who bloody knows when? Take care. Bye bye.